guys, Chef Jenna here, welcome back. I have something very nice to share with you guys. Um, two of the best things that happened to me last year, many good things uh, happened to me last year, but those I really wanted to share because they come along somehow, I will explain. I met a very good friend uh, called Morena, Morena Bertuzzi. We met in Brazil through a mutual friend and uh, you can find her on Instagram through the, um, under the name of uh, Vegan Chemistry. She is a food engineer, if I'm not mistaken, I think she is and she just came back from Italy. She went back to Brazil from Italy because she was studying vegan food there. So she is a very inspiring person. She's very kind, compassionate, beautiful inside and out. I strongly suggest you to follow her. She is amazing. And the second thing is that I am celebrating with you guys the fact that I moved to Spain. So we're going to make Morena Bertuzzi's recipe, which is chickpea omelet. And we're going to put in the omelet Spanish ingredients. So it's gonna be a Spanish tortilla. How wonderful is that? Come on guys, come with me. I'll show you how it's made. It's gonna be fantastic. I can't wait. All right guys, so here we have our onions and red peppers. We're going to sweat them. I don't want to cook them. I want to sweat them until they get just a little bit cooked. And then we add, go ahead and add the garlic. Again, just remove the raw edges. It's going to be about 50 seconds. Meanwhile, we're going to boil our potatoes, but we want them firm. We don't want them mushy and falling apart because you see later that is not going to work. Here we add our chickpea flour. If you don't have chickpea flour, if you can't find it, if you're just like me who live in a stranded island off the coast of Africa and you can't find anything, you can buy proper chickpeas and then put them on a very powerful blender or something like that and then you have a flour. See? Easy peasy. Um, no rocket science here so far. I'm joking. There's no rocket science at all. We add all the dry ingredients, but don't do like I just did. I added everything and then I added the water last. Big, big, big mistake. Because, well, we know physics, right? So it's much easier if you combine all the dry ingredients and then the water and then the cooked vegetables and the solids. Oh well, well, raise your hand if you have never done that mistake. Well, I have many, many times. I still do, as you can see. Well, that's the only way to learn things, right? By making mistakes. Now, baking soda and lemon juice create bubbles, create air. It makes the air expand and makes our baking very, very much fluffy very much fluffy is good I thought that it was a little bit too runny so I decided to add a little bit more of chickpea flour again see the lumps there it took me a while to dissolve that but it was all okay at the end not much drama here see all good and safe and looking good guys if you are those chickpea aficionados like me you gotta make this but the beauty about this tortilla is that I have never had an egg omelette in my life but it tastes just like it according to uh, people who have had that before and I know that it smells like it our potatoes again they are firmly cooked and see they are not falling apart another tip before adding the potatoes, let them cool a little bit. It's easier like that. Okay, let's go ahead now and check for the seasonings for the last time. It's our last chance, all good. Now, the best thing for this dish is vegan butter because the butter gets everything a little bit more golden brown as opposed to olive oil. I do not like olive oil for that at all. I know it's very Spanish and stuff, but the vegan butter, it adds a little bit more of softness and a little bit more color. Tortilla is in and now we just need to wait for five, six minutes each side, flip it over. I did, fell apart, did it again. But nonetheless, here we have our insanely delicious and shockingly addictive tortilla. Our Spanish tortilla is ready. Esta lista e muy, muy guapa. Guys, seriously, this is something. And I gotta tell you, I have never had omelette in my life, but I, I know how it smells. This smells 
just like egg omelette. Go figure. And of course, I'm gonna have to try this. It's screaming my name. Please eat me, eat me, eat me. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. Wonderful. You're gonna love it. Guys, seriously, make this, I promise you. The other thing is, it's packed with proteins. Clean, lean, nutritious protein. What are you waiting for? Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And i see you next time. Have a wonderful week. Bye.